سبيل الدموع سبيل مريح تنا أدا يا صاحي كي تستريح أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربي شالي صدري ويسلي أمري وأهل لقدات من لساني يفقول قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope you all are fine Today we are going to discuss why Arafah is the best day In this video we will discuss when is the day of Arafah What is the day of Arafah Why is the day of Arafah so special What should we do in the day of Arafah? In the end, there is an answer to the previous quiz. And there is also a new quiz. So let's start. Uh, when and what is the day of Arafah? The day of Arafah is on the ninth day of Zul Hijjah. The meaning of Arafah is to know. So the day of Arafah means it is the day which everyone should know about. It is mentioned in Ibn Majah, Hadith number 1727, narrated from Ibn Abbas, Raziyallahu Anhu, that Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, There are no days during which righteous deeds are more beloved to Allah than these days, referring to the first 10 days of Zul Hijjah. It is only in these 10 days that a person can perform all the five pillars of Islam simultaneously. Just like in Ramazan, we have the last 10 nights are the best 10 nights of the entire year. And Laylatul Qadr is the best night. Similarly, in Zul Hijjah, the first 10 days are the best 10 days of the entire year. And the day of Arafah is the best day. So why is the day of Arafah so special? Uh, Almighty God swears by the day of Arafah in Quran. It is mentioned in chapter 85, verse number 1, 2, and 3. It says, By the sky full of constellations, and the promised day, that is the day of judgment. And the verse number 3 says, Washahid wa mashhud, and the witness, and what is witnessed. It is mentioned in Tirmidhi, Hadith number 3339, narrated by Abu Huraira Anhu, that Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Al Yawmul Mashhud, the attended day, is the day of Arafah. And he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam further said in the same Hadith that the sun does not rise nor set upon a day that is more virtuous than this day, that is the day of Arafah. It is further mentioned in Quran, uh, Almighty God even swears by the first 10 days of Zul Hijjah, which includes the day of Arafah. So it is mentioned in Quran, chapter 89, verse number 1, 2 and 3, it says, by the day and, and the night, 10, meaning the 10 days and 10 nights. And verse number 3 says, was Shafi well with the even and the odd. All the scholars agree that these first three verses, they are referring to the first 10 days of Zul Hijjah. And there is also a hadith in Nasai al Kubra. Uh, that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Al-Witr, the odd day, is the day of Arafah, meaning the ninth of Zul Hijjah. And the Ashafi, the even day, is the day of Eid, that is day of sacrifice, which is falling on 10th of Zul Hijjah. And similarly, the odd night, before the day of Arafah is the night in Mina and the even night before the day of Eid is the night in Muzalifa. So all these days and all these nights, first 10 days and nights of Zulhijjah, all of them are 
important and god almighty swears by all of these first 10 days and nights of zulhijja so uh just like uh, in ramazan uh, laylatul qadr is the night when quran was first revealed to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam similarly in the day of arafa the religion is completed or in other words allah perfected islam it is mentioned in quran chapter 5 verse number 3 it says the almighty god says this day i have perfected your religion for you completed my favor upon you and have chosen for you islam as your religion or as your way of life it is mentioned in sahih al bukhari this number 7268 narrated by tariq bin shibab razil anhu that a jew came to hazrat umar razil anhu and said o chief of believers if this verse referring to the verse of quran chapter 5 verse number 3 which is mentioned above if this verse had been revealed to us we would have taken this day as eid day or a festival day and hazrat umar radhiyallahu anhu replied and he said i know exactly on what day this verse was revealed and when it was revealed so he said it was revealed on the day of arafa and it was a friday now coming to the hadith uh, what does hadith has to say about the arafa it is mentioned in nasai hadith number 3016 narrated by abdur rahman razil anhu he said that i saw messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam when people came to him and asked him about hajj he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said hajj is arafa so that is why this day is so special another reason is that the last sermon of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was also given by him on the day of arafa and we will discuss uh, what he discussed in that sermon so first he talk about equality no racism the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said O oh people, your God is one. Your father Adam is one. There is no superiority of an Arab over a non-Arab, and nor there is any superiority of a non-Arab over an Arab. Similarly, there is no superiority of a white over black or a black over white, except by righteousness. Meaning, if there is one Arab and one non-Arab. if both have equal good deeds both are equal in sight of almighty god then he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam talked about that there should be no gender discrimination he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said i enjoin good treatment of women he said you have rights over your women and your women have rights over you so both have rights and both are different but equal at the same time so if a male and a female both have equal good deeds both are equal in front of almighty god then he further talked about justice he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said verily the life the property and honor of everyone is as sacred as this day referring to the day of arafa as secret as this month that is the month of zulhijja and as secret as this town or city referring to the holy city of makka he further said that fear allah the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said have taqwa of allah that we should fear allah from all the matters he further sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam further said be mindful of your duty to allah referring to the matters of god hukukullah he sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam also said that we should be nice to our neighbors referring to the matters of people hukukulubad that we should fear god regarding the matters of 
Allah and regarding the matters of his creations. The Prophet ﷺ, in the end he said, I have left you with two things. As long as you hold to them, you will never go astray. He said, he, he was referring to the Quran and Sunnah, the book of God and Sunnah of his Prophet ﷺ. So as long as we hold to these two things, we will never be directionless. And in the end, the Prophet ﷺ asked the people that, have I conveyed the message? And all of them said, yes. And then he ﷺ also made witness God Almighty to, uh, to this sermon. And the Prophet ﷺ, at the very last, he said, let the one who is present inform who is absent, meaning Whosoever knows about this sermon should share with other people. So what can we do in the day of Arafah? So there are few things that we can do. Firstly, we should seek forgiveness from Almighty God. There is a hadith in Ibn Hibban, the Prophet ﷺ said, On this day, Allah the Most Exalted, descends to the nearest heaven so normally god almighty descends to the nearest heaven at night but the day of arafah is the only exception where almighty god even descends on the day during the day and the god almighty says to the to those in the heavens that look at my servants they have come from far and near to seek my mercy and he, uh, Almighty God said that I shall forgive them. There is a Sahih Hadith in Sahih Muslim Hadith number 1348 narrated by Hazrat Aisha Raziela Anha that Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said there is no day upon which Allah frees more of his servants from the hellfire than the day of Arafah. So we should ask for forgiveness from Almighty God and ask him to save us from the hellfire secondly we have to make a lot of dua in the day of Arafah it is mentioned in Tirmidhi hadith number 3585 narrated by Amr ibn Shuaib Anhur that Prophet wasalam, said the best supplication is, is that which is made on the day of Arafah and the best of it is what was said by myself and the prophets before me and the then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu lahul mulk wa lahul hamd wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir meaning there is no god but allah alone without any partners upon him belong the dominion and all the praise and he has power over all things so this is the best dua that we can make in the day of Arafah. Lastly, we can also fast. This is for those who are not performing Hajj. It is mentioned in Sahih Muslim Hadith number 1162, narrated by Abu Qatada Al Ansari Razil Anho, that Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked about fasting on the day of Arafah, that is night of Zulhijjah. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, Fasting on the day of Arafah is an expiation for the preceding year and the following year. So with this, we have reached the end of our discussion. Here is the answer to the previous quiz. That is quiz number two. The question was, which surah in the Quran contains the word Allah in each and every verse of that surah? So the right answer is Surah Mujadila. So in this surah, this is surah number 58. It has 22 verses and each and every verse of this surah contains the word Allah. So this is a unique surah and mujadila means conflict. So whenever we have any conflict, we should refer to Almighty God. So that is how we can remember that this surah uh, is the one where every verse contains Allah. So here is the quiz for this video. The question is how many times the word Arafah is mentioned by name in the Holy Quran? 
option one zero that it's not mentioned by name option b one option c two option d three option e four so i request all of you to please participate in this quiz write in the comment section the option which you think is correct in the next video i will share the answer of this quiz along with some information inshallah with this we have reached the end of our video uh, we can make dua to almighty god oh god please accept this work please forgive our sins please forgive us if we have done any mistake please give baraka in this work please accept all of our duas please forgive all of our sins please make us of those few people allahumma amin with this we have reached the end of our discussion thank you all for watching this video Please take care. Till next video. Allah Hafiz. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.